In this lesson, we will look at several examples of shading Venn diagrams to represent set operations. First on the left, we have A intersect B complement, which is equivalent to A minus B. A intersect B complement means A intersect B complement is the set of elements that are in A and not in B. A minus B is a set of elements that are in A, which are not in B, which is equivalent. So we want to shade the region of the Venn diagram that is in set A and not in set B, which would be this region here. Again, this region does represent the set of elements that are in A and not in B, or in A, which are not in B, which is A intersect B complement, or A minus B. For the second example, we have A complement intersect B complement, which is equivalent to the complement of A union B. A complement intersect B complement is a set of elements that are not in A and not in B. The complement of A union B is the set of elements not in A or B. Let's first focus on the set of elements that are not in A and not in B. If we want to shade the region that represents the set of elements that are not in A and not in B, that would be the region outside A and outside B, which would be this region here. This region does represent the set of elements that are not in A and not in B, as well as the set of elements that are not in A union B. This is the region of the Venn diagram that represents A complement intersect B complement, as well as the complement of A union B. And now let's look at two examples with three sets. So first on the left we have A intersect B minus C, which is a set of elements that are in A and B, which are not in C. So let's first shade the region that represents A intersect B, which should be this region here. But we have A intersect B minus C, which means we want the elements in this region, but not in C, which would leave us with this small region here. So let's go ahead and erase the light blue now and shade the dark blue. This region represents the set A intersect B minus C, meaning the set of elements that are in A and B, which are not in C. And for the last example, the only difference here is we have union rather than intersection. Here we have the union of A and B minus C, which is a set of elements that are in A or B, which are not in C. So again, let's first, let's first shade A union B, which would be this set here, or inside this set, but then we have A union B minus C. We want the elements in this union that are not in C, and therefore, the final set would be this region here where we cut this piece of the union out. Let's go ahead and erase the light blue now and shade the dark blue. This region represents a set of elements that are in A or B, which are not in C, meaning A union B minus C. I hope you found this helpful.